That's where you got the word. So uh, I'm a first timer, so maybe this is a, a, a question that you've been answered in the past. But I mean, it seems to me as a software engineer that's interested in this space, it seems like more people that are interested in you know open data should actually try to get the contracts to build these software systems that the government use, because I imagine a lot of them are actually contracted out, not mm -hmm. internally. So maybe so you should it work seems on the like first somebody, side. It seems like people that are interested in this stuff should actually start a consulting company and give city contracts. Well, it sounds like maybe it sounds like it's like the it's like the hair club for men, right? You know, you could be like <laughs> I mean, you could be the first consumer of like the of the contracting website, right? I mean, you know, do you know any company? Yeah, totally. I mean, in Chicago, there's public good software. I mean, Bob Brooks does a lot of this. Uh, you know, I mean, I think that they're well, I mean, like the people that you know, people that are really interested in, you know, yeah. I mean, there, there are definitely, yeah, there are definitely people who are working in this space. There's a lot of challenges because, uh, rightly so, the people who make procurement decisions are not experts at technology, right? And so, like, that means that think, I mean, if you're an expert in technology, it's like very easy to think like, oh god, these guys are so dumb. Why don't like, like, why can't they hire a competent person? But that's because you forgot that you were like learned an enormous amount that like lets you be able to tell the difference, you know. Oh, I have a question. Uh, I was just curious uh, if, like, in the in this open data uh, movement, if if the idea is only to build the app, or if there are actually people only working at the data level and just releasing the data. So this is good. What a great setup. Because so, a lot of these apps, people will have to fix the data or maybe create a relational database or something like that, and the database could be being released without the app. So uh, this is. One of one of my favorite groups in Chicago is the South Side Chi Town. The Supreme Chi Town Coding Crew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Urban Geek Drinks. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, um, Free, Geek Chicago. Chicago. Free Geek Chicago. What are you saying? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, yeah, free, it's free Geek. Oh yeah, Free Geek. Right. Um, okay. And what they like? What are their best products? One of the, the first project that they've really done big time is uh, there is a site uh, for that uh, that, they sh that the sheriff Dart runs on his uh, the on his web properties that is a lookup tool for letting family and lawyers and friends find out whether someone that they care about is in the jail, right? Is in uh, you know, and they looked at that and they're like, oh, actually. What, if we look at this kind of sideways, what this is is a system that can tell us about the inflows and outflows of the jail population in, in Cook County. And they built an, they built a scraper that does that 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 pulls out all that information. And then they on top of that they built an API uh, that anonymizes the information and gives you the statistics at the level of like the statistics of interest. And then they like. And that's what they have focused on. They're starting to do some nice work of visualizing that data, but that's not. But they just focus on, on like, on, on, on like this really clever view of this data, and then making that view of this data as a, as a source of jail dynamics, something that other people could build on top of. Well. So I was gonna maybe I was thinking about maybe we could just some we could maybe if people could look at a data source that's like in that list and maybe we could kind of kind of come up together with like an interesting use case mm -hmm. for that. Does that sound interesting? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, so like throw it up. but also like the larger educational problem of how do we interact with the city water, um, not putting old motor oil down the sewer drain. I mean, there are lots and lots of water questions. How do you design in a way that actually impacts the system and more grassroots levels? Yeah, how do you make the public care? Yeah. yeah.
Like a website Well, I mean, actually, that seems like a really good. Uh, I mean, I don't know the answer to that, but actually, I mean, if that's a question that you are interested in, that actually seems like a really good thing to partner with the city on, right? Because they like they have staff who's they have like there's a part of the city I don't know what they are now because there's no longer the Department of the Environment, but I guarantee they're part of the city who's like who are who we are paying to try to get people to stop putting motor oil like in the water. Actually, the Department of the Environment got pulled in under the Department of Transportation. Uh, Part of few different. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 So let me let me take your question one step further. So say you could predict uh, where it's going to happen and when, mm -hmm. and then say you could have some sort of notification system of you know it is happening in this area, it is happening in your neighborhood, and you know what if you could optimize either the city resources or the city. Um, I don't know how it's cleaned up, but yeah, well, it's cleaned up by the by water flowing. I mean, it's um. <laughs> So it's just, I mean, yeah. So I mean, I guess it's. I mean, that's a. I mean, like maybe. I mean, I, like my, 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 my experience and like, my, like you know, barely limited experience with this thing is, is that like the people who are whose job it is to kind of do this usually, they may not always have a very. Um, they may not have a sophisticated, mathematical way of predicting it, but they they have a gut sense about like what's going on and that they 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 almost always know where the problems are, you know. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. I mean, so like that's the thing is, is that like you know how do you, like how do you? I mean, this is this is a real issue, right? That you're talking. I mean, that you you both are bringing up is is that like the most popular apps that this community has produced have like has had very very little uh, has been have been very unpopular. You know, I mean, like they've been pop like you know they're like we're talking like we're in the tens of thousands, right? Like you know, like nothing has broken into into the hundreds of thousands. From like from, from in this group, right? So like, bring like doing a breakout thing, you know? It's like, how like like actually bring it to something that's gonna like that many people are gonna look at, let, let alone influence their behavior. I mean, I'm waiting for it, right? Like I mean, like I'm trying to do that too. I mean, I think many of us want to do that. It's hard. It's not clear how to do it, uh, and uh, I don't have the answer for that. If you if if people have ideas about that, I'd love to hear that because it's hard. Uh, and I think I think that's very valuable. So we have a data science team that's a alongside the Open Government Unit, and that's what we specialize in is doing predictive analytics. And we will we'll dispatch crews early. So the one that we're advertising now is we are predicting what rodent complaints are going to happen mm -hmm. before they happen, and we'll dispatch a crew to kill any rats that they find. And there's been some good success there. Uh, but uh, as as Forrest pointed out, a lot of what's being done so far is, is based on local knowledge, or sometimes we just call tribal knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, we know, we know, generally know where the problems are. Uh, re water reclamation, ro water reclamation is a problem. Water can't track of their problem with sewers, uh, but they've never taken that, that next step forward of doing serious advanced analytics models. And today, I haven't seen a lot of serious advanced analytics models based on portal only data uh, so far. And there could be limitations on the data that's published so far. But uh, we have a couple of cases coming out where we did an advanced analytical model and we look back and we realize all the significant variables are occurring out in the portal. Mm. Uh, and it was kind of, we, we looked at a bunch of others, but we were like, oh, well, we didn't need to go to our, our, our. Well, but so this is, but this is a great question, Thomas, is that like, even if we, even if there was a group of people who were interested in that and wanted to do that, that's not necessarily something that's easy to give to the city. I mean, like, what do you, I mean, like, do you, I mean, what's, I mean, is, what's the kind of, uh, what's the kind of, what's the API that lets, like, that lets, lets people who are like, okay, I can actually, I have some data science skills, I have some things that, I have some design skills, I could actually work on this problem, but in order to get to scale, it actually needs to affect operations, you know, like how does that happen, you know? Yeah, so I think this is, it would be interesting when we come across that path, and then first it seemed was, well, is there uh, tractability here? Right. It's like, oh, well, I, I have something that's quite trackable, and we haven't gotten to that point yet where I've seen that, uh, seen that elsewhere, even amongst academic researchers. Uh, but if it got to that point, it would be a very interesting experiment for us to try to engage in that. So if it was a model that was open, and people were willing to kind of give up, so for instance, you find that 
a simple linear regression was able to explain quite a bit and, sure. and do much better. Uh, to for us to try to take that on, us being the data science team, try to take that on and see if we can operationalize that to bring that to the next step. Uh, certainly, that would be something that my team would be very interested in because that's the focus of our team is to try to take advanced analytics and deploy that to be very useful. There's some structure within that, but our advanced analytics team is very focused on open source, our base code. We don't like SAS or SPSS or, or Stata really, and that's that can help increase the adoptability. Okay, I mean, I just want you guys to realize that that was an incredible thing that just happened, right? <laughs> listen to listen to what just happened, right? This is that like you had the director of analytics for the city of Chicago say that if you if this community t came up with a model that was like that was tractable in its operations and like was like and was clearly it, it gave clear signs that it actually could be something that could be useful that. That 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 they would uh, that they would that they would spend a certain amount of resources investigating whether that's what they could actually do, right? That's like that's pretty amazing, right? I mean, like so. <laughs> I mean, that's like that gives me. I mean, that kind of like that like that would be an incredible. That would just be an incredible, right? Yay. <laughs> so you know, I mean. So what are you guys gonna do after this, right? <laughs> right. I think it's a good. I mean, that's one of the stuff I can talk about. But maybe I can't talk. That's gotta be the. That's gotta be the end of it, right there. I'll take a couple more questions. Yeah. Any other questions for Forrest before we kind of wrap up and break out? So, one question. Um, with all this open data uh, and everything that's available, if you do begin to pull and scrape this data and put something together, do you have any sort of reassurances that, first of all, the terms of service won't change, uh, so against you, and all of a sudden that data is not available, or that uh, the format of the data may change and so forth? Like, how often do you find yourself um, having to fix your scraper because something changed on the open data availability side versus actually playing with the data for a uh, further purpose. So I think I would make a distinction between the stuff that's on the open data portal. I mean, where the city has, I mean, they've made a commitment uh, to some degree about this is data, like this is how we're gonna be giving you these data. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I would feel, uh, I would still feel fairly confident about that, you know, but I mean, I think it's just that like, uh, the real barrier for me as a business and using stuff from the open data portal is is that the um, the terms of service on the open data portal are actually to be quite scary for a business and that they have a clause the terms of service have a clause that says that if the lawyers of the city of Chicago decided that they want to take this data down they could contact you and you would be required to give up any data that you collected now the city now this is this is very bad I think this is a very bad policy uh, I think it's very bad. I think it has a real chilling effect on businesses. But it's also the city of Chicago has also been uh, open to uh, to uh, to revising those terms of services for particular data sets when they can be assured that uh, that there's that the risk for the city is low. If you go to our GitHub account, so we, we release data, we call it open source data as opposed to kind of more general open data portal. Uh, we do have a subset of data sets specifically because of this, and especially after Twitter and the whole entire API business when they, they did some heavy modification of terms, yeah, that, that provision of taking data away uh, can stop a lot of businesses. So we've started publishing data on the data portal. It's prefixed with OSD. Uh, it's released with an MIT license. These are data sets that we looked at, like, uh, for instance, where the streets are at, where the buildings are at, where the bike, where the, uh, the bike routes are. We look at this like, there's no, we're not going to need to take this away. There's not going to be more than that pass. You may not pass. You, you may not release bike routes in the city. So we re we started releasing that data with an MIT license uh, to help uh, ameliorate that concern. And I've had a couple conversations with people here. So if there's other data sets, we're like, well, we'd really like to use this for, for business purposes, but you know, we're, we're concerned about the terms of services. 
this is this is a great way to provide data through a, a more liberal license uh, under a bit more further review, where we can take a look, say, is there a risk to doing this? You know, what's what's that going to look like? And then release it on GitHub. And GitHub kind of has this notion of things that are released on tend to be open source, so it gives a it gives a feel to, to know that you can use it more. What are some of the risks that you guys have in mind uh, when you decide yeah. not to release this data? Certainly. So we've never had to do that before, and there's a chilling effect if we ever had to do that. We'd have to have a very good reason to doing that because it would create a lot of distrust in anything else that you might use for the world. So anything, anytime that you deal with governments and you don't know what legislation might come down the road, you don't know what uh, financial liability might come down the road as well. So if, if we got uh, drastically sued because of information that was released on the portal that created concern or created issues, I don't have an example of that. We haven't released any of that data. Uh, then we would have to take a look at that information. Uh, similarly, if there's legislation that says you cannot publish such and such information, for instance, if for some reason the uh, state of Illinois legislature came back with a similar law to the uh, scraping of corporate data, then we'd have to comply with that. There's no choice. I have an example of that. We actually can't release the link, the food stamp uh, data related to uh, service with the official city of Chicago farmers markets because we'd actually be violating uh, USDA uh, regulations. So we have to be careful about that type of stuff. So we have provisions to try to keep that. There's always legal review before things go out to the portal to make sure that we don't release something. For instance, if we actually release something, we realize that you can identify somebody from that information. If anybody remembers the infamous Netflix, Netflix fiasco from a few years ago. Right, so if that ever came down the road, that would be another thing. It's like, shit, you gotta, you gotta do that, undo that. It's not completely clear to me that this provision that the city has is actually enforceable. I mean, um, I think that like this, the legal status of the legal status of these kinds of data are are actually like that are produced by uh, states and municipalities are I think a little ambiguous. I mean, if it's produced by the federal government, it's quite clear that like it's a uh, it's in the public domain. I think that it's not as clear for me for like what the legal status is of this thing. And I think it's not so like if like the city has never had tried to enforce that, and it's not clear to me that if that they could if they wanted to, but it's still it's kind of it's still it's still I think a little chilling. The only time that I've seen legislation actually take down data is the I believe it was the state of New York used to release as open data uh, handgun license registrations, mm -hmm. and then the um, NRA sued the state and won and they passed legislation saying they had to take it down. Um, and so that's, I don't know why the city would have handgun data, but that's an example of that actually happening in real life. Well, concealed carry is coming in 2014. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else?